What's up everybody, Paul Hickey here with your data-driven daily tip. Hope you're having a great day. Today I'm pumped to talk to you about Instagram story swipe up ads and how to put the creative in and build the target audience for an Instagram story swipe up ad. So let's jump right into it. Now, Instagram story swipe up ads are a very, very low cost per audience attention right now. And uh, what you're seeing on my screen is the beginning of the creative process. So what I've done is I've taken an image and I've made it 1080 by 1420 and I've uploaded it into the ad and I'm naming the ad now Instagram story swipe up ad to my podcast because I wanted to promote the podcast here within other people's Instagram stories. So that's, if you're wondering, that's what an Instagram story swipe up ad does, is it, it doesn't show in your story, it shows in other people's stories. And audiences' attention right now are on Instagram stories big time. The proof is in the data. The data is showing that people are, are paying attention to stories and viewing profiles. And so the thing I like about the story ads is, as you can see on my screen here, is once I've uploaded my image, you can type in the website URL, um, you can get a preview of the image and if you're sending um, a user to a page on your website with the Facebook tracking pixel installed um, that will uh, will help show you the data around your Instagram story swipe up ad as well through the Facebook tracking pixel so just for clarity for those of you listening on the podcast um, you're in Facebook ads manager and you've selected the Instagram story swipe up ad from the edit placements. So I've gone in and I've created an ad. I've selected edit placements. I've gone in and, and selected the Facebook story and the Instagram story placement. And you have to have a Facebook placement in order to have an Instagram placement. So you got to do, if you just want to run your Instagram story ads, you have to select, and you don't want to run it in the feed, you can uncheck all the feed options, uncheck all the mobile ad options, the, which is called the Facebook ad network, uncheck all that except just leave the Instagram story swipe up ad and Facebook story ad selected. And then what you'll do is um, create your ad like those of you seeing on my screen right now. You'll see a nice preview on the screen. And then uh, once you go ahead and confirm it, you can do the preview for the Instagram story and the Facebook story. And um, it's really cool because you can put the text over the ad if you want, or you can leave the text off of the ad. And then once you confirm it, your ad gets submitted to run and, and you start running your ad. So, um, so far so good on this Instagram ad for me. Uh, it's doing very well. The proof is in the data that uh, the audience's attention are in Instagram stories. If you are lucky enough to have uh, the swipe up to URL capability within your story for free based on your follower count, I highly recommend you do that every day and have people swipe up to read your stories. Um, however, if you're not fortunate enough, you could take advantage of the Instagram story ad feature at low cost per audience attention and run Instagram story swipe up ads. This has been your data-driven daily tip. For more free digital marketing tips, go to dataoveropinions.com. To listen on the podcast, go to paulhickeypodcast.com or datadrivenpodcast.com and subscribe. It'll take you to a link on anchor.fm and it'll tell you how to subscribe to the podcast or you can stream live right there on Anchor. Uh, to listen on Alexa, go to datadrivendaily.com and enable our Alexa skill. youtube.com slash paulhickey. And if you want to do business with us, hit me up at paul at datadriven.design. Thanks and have a great day.